Okay, so can an encrypted Android device be rooted? Absolutely. So think about the encrypted uh, file system as simply a way to secure your data at rest. But for the operating system to boot up and do its thing, it, it's running, you know, unencrypted in memory, and, and essentially most of those exploits are taking advantage of the operating system itself. Um, so you'll be up and running in a normal way. You'll definitely be able to get root in the same way. Um, and the other thing that's key is is and this is something that a lot of folks kind of miss about the difference between encryption and, and, and data at rest versus the system up and running. Once the phone is up and running, whether it's Android and iOS, um, you pretty much have the data decrypted. The operating system has to be able to present back to you your Gmail. They have to show you your text messages. So when you think about an encrypted NAND flash, what you really need to think about is that if, you know, if a forensics person gets their hands on it, the device hasn't been booted up, they physically image the device. Maybe they're doing JTAG and chip off. Literally get the bits and bytes off of there. It's going to be encrypted at, at rest on that, on that disk. And then they would have to brute force the encryption. That's very difficult to do. Um, we uh, uh, came up with a way to brute force, it for, uh, to brute force Android encryption. Uh, and we released that, I think, two years ago at DEF CON. Um, but since then, you know, encryption there has gotten better. And then Apple embeds a chip in the device. So at rest, very difficult. But once the device is up and running and you've com essentially compromised the device or gotten root on it, um, you're pretty much going to be able to get the data off. Uh, and so that is not going to be an issue. 